Hello friends, how's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. The American Campaign Adaptation, which is scaling normal sea and normal land battles. We are going to go ahead and get into groggy start. You can deploy four or seven ships. They give us 62,000, but we can go take it harder and get no peril, no glory, and get it up to 75,000. And my fleet of 10 144-gun ships is the overall cost of me losing 54,000 a turn. But as long as I capture ships, then I can run the budget that way. It doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and get into the battle. Okay, let's go. Anytime today, folks. Okay, here we go. All right, I think, I think if you had uh, different types of ships, right, and you had different types of strategies, in my game notes for this particular battle, you want your best ships here, and then the ships that you don't, you know, that are, that are not your best over here. Now, if you brought a fire ship, you'd probably want it here, because that way it could strike first. And maybe I have a fire ship here that could strike later, but I think in my notes I wanted my best two ships here. The only problem I got is all my ships are the same, so so it doesn't really matter. So uh, Fenwick is going in. This is my capital ship, and then uh, Vieira will go with uh, her, and. Vilshala and Rusty will be here. Now, E. Torres, Richard, and Attilica 59 will be there. That gives us 27, 27, and 40, 50. And so you can see I have seven 144-gun ships. And I have uh, three right here. Because you only want ten warships for the last battle anyway. So, And then I have two merchant ships. But anyways, let's get into the battle. This is called Groggy Start. Hey, look at that ship. It just, it just hit the land right there. Did you see that? The French are caught in a large storm. And with the British... Sabotaging the lighthouse. Many of the more damaged ships were caught and were washed ashore. The remainder of the fleet abandoned their friend and their friends and sailed on to Boston. <laughs> All right, so here they come. The Royal Navy warships have arrived to destroy the remaining ships. They won't stand a chance. No kidding. And here's our four ships. So let's go ahead and... Let's sail forward. Uh, going real fast just to get get it to get going.
All right, let's let's get it back to normal speed. Shoot at something, I don't care what. All right, now. Man, these two ships, like these two, I did it too fast and these guys just got in a bad position, so now... Yeah, because the AI's got the wind. Yeah, we don't really want to get in a fight like this. I don't know what I can do with uh, Fenwick. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> these these two are in a bad position. Okay, so this, like I said, I totally set this up wrong, so I've got ships out of position. Like the feet, I should not have brought them in the way I did, but nonetheless, I'm going to try to, I always try to make it work, as you know. I always try to make it work, so that's what we're trying to do right now.
Boy, I'll tell you. Okay, so that, that ship gave up. So what do I got to do here? I got to get uh, somebody to drop somebody out. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if he's going to drop out somebody to get on this ship. Uh, this ship I wanted to board. But I'm going to try to get this unit onto here. Let's see if he gets on. Like, like, like. I was really concerned that they were gonna, they were gonna jump on it. This, this ship had over six, seven hundred guys on here. Oh man, the wind is such going such a way that we can't do anything. Man. Here again. Okay, my my that ship has to stop shooting cuz it's going to shoot through my ship here. Hey, this is a mess. Okay, so now I can get this ship to shoot at him. Let's pause for just a minute, because, yeah, this, this whole thing went kind of screwy. And now these guys, uh, I need these guys over here. Man. And, and here's, here's, here's our allies.
And I'm and I'm, this ship's here. This ship here is in a bad position, right? Because of the wind. Look at the wind. So I can't get him out of the way so this one can get him or shoot at him. Now granted, maybe I could bring this one right here. Yeah, I, I hate, you know, I see the shallow here, right? But they, they didn't let me turn the ship at, over here like they, because they said it's shallow and stuff. And now, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, see, now they're going to force it to go into here. So, yeah, it's going to get stranded. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh my god. Why couldn't the why couldn't this ship be on this side so I could use the Viera? Ish. Oh, this is an impossible situation. I mean, we're dropping the personnel on the ship, no doubt about it. But yeah, this is... I, I Don't ever do what I did. You can't have three ships wait, two ships stuck, and then, uh, you know what I mean? The way these guys came in on us. Do not do super fast like I did. I mean, that, that was just a waste. And you see the problem with these guys, because I didn't pay attention to these guys, I could have had them come in this way, so at least they would have been over here to help. Alright, well, like I said, we got him in a good position, so now we could, we didn't break off, we didn't do a lot on, on the armor, but, you know, like I said, uh,
Yeah, we got a little log jam. I mean, if the Britain, if the Britain sinks or whatever, I mean, it, it's just in a bad position. All right, so he gave up. Richard's going to come over here and take uh, this ship over here. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of prisoners for doing this. So, remember how it started? I started it out kind of bad, but I told you I'd try to make the best out of it. And as you can see, don't give up. Just keep at it and you'll you'll do okay I didn't know I was doing double speed at the moment but Well, at least Richard will be getting some experience right now. I don't think I got white body. He's probably going to try to knock out a mass. Come on. Hey, what do we got to do to get the boarding going? Sheesh. Yeah, what a mess. All right, both are boarding. That's good. That is good. 
All right, well, this was an ugly battle the way the, I set it up. I went in too fast. Don't go at four times the speed all the way to them because you'll get all your ships in a weird position. So that's the, I, I would say that's the biggest mistake I made in this particular battle, but I made it work. So the way I look at it is, you know, you make it work with how you do it, right? So, hey, it worked out. I still got them all. And, and that's what counts. And I got a victory, so that's the way it looks. And you can see here, uh, we, were, we were helping the French. And you gotta eliminate the enemy. And we captured captured all their ships hey and this time we got four officers wounded we didn't lose anybody other than you know these guys got wounded so they won't have any XP from this battle but that's just the way it is and we got uh, yep we got a, we got their whole fleet of 144 gunships so that's what I mean like when you're doing scaling, as you can see, once you get that third rate ship, you know, it, the game is going to scale up and it's just a matter of big, big ship fighting. So, you know what I mean? Like, if you, if you want to not have this type of battles with big ships, try not to add third rate ship to your fleet for a long time. You'll have a lot of money. But anyways, but it is fun fighting with these guys. I mean, you know, I, I got their whole fleet, so. And I'm not going to add any of these ships to my fleet because I already have a fleet of these. So, I mean, I'm just going to do whatever, so. And again, you can see right here, they got trade muskets. Why does the enemy have trade muskets, man? Why don't they have some of these guns here so I can be getting some of these? I'm getting all these junky guns, man. Matter of fact, when we go in a harbor, we could probably see quite a bit. But anyways, let's take one last look. All right, that's it. Wasn't too bad, uh, you know, again, uh, not too bad of a battle. Get, get it done pretty quick. But yeah, that's the only thing I can say about the campaign, though. Um, once you get a third ray, it's just a race when you have adaptation scaling. Because, you know, they're going to scale to you, and, and so you end up with a fleet of 144 gunships. I mean... What can I say? All right, so I have nine active ships and the, the tenth one is sitting here and it's ready, ready, this one here. This just doesn't have personnel on it, but so I have 10. So let's go over to here and see. Um, we get rid of the prisoners. Got 75,000, one career point. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, um, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna max out crew healing 25% casualties replenished after battle and we have the hunted hunter one or two ships and the last resort one or three ships 
but we got trophies here. And so I'll just, uh, I'm going to add one. And it's the HMS Unique. And we're going to look at the naval guns. And we're going to... I don't I don't use these cuz they're too heavy. So selling the 32 pounders that I've been taking off those 144 gun ships, I can get $110,000. And even on the 24 pounders, I can get $82,000. And considering if I want to put 5 upgrades on a ship uh, I won't be able to use these 18 pounders so we're gonna just sell those and these bow guards I probably won't use but we'll see so, so I won't sell anything else for now and as you can see that bumps me up to five 5,600, uh, five, five, 562,000 bucks. I mean, that's quite a bit. So what I can do here, seeing the battle went quick, I can spend some more time in the harbor here. I think what I could do is work on the ships for a minute. Now, this ship is already good and I think this ship's already good or maybe let me see yeah Okay, so for this ship here, I'm going to see if I can put the, uh, uh, what did I want on there? Oh, sail and repair. Where is that? All right, so the sailing kit. Now, you can see right here, I'm not going to be able to. Now, I would hate to have to give these up. So maybe I need to go lighter here. Okay, so these are 15 pounds. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. There's 36 guns here at 15 pounds, but there's 34 guns here at 23 pounds. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe you could explain that to me. Right? Less guns, but weighs more. But it's the same gun. It's a 9-pound Obstrog. I guess on a certain deck, they, they weigh differently, I guess. Is that the answer?
Oh boy, it's driving me nuts. Okay, so if I change this gun, put this gun here. Oh man, I just can't do it. Okay, so I'm going to have to put something... Uh, I, man. I mean, I think I want to keep these Congreaves here, because when we're up close, that's going to be some really good damage right there. All right, well, I guess in order to get that, boy, I really have to mix these guns up. My goodness. Yeah, it, it really sucks that I have to put these six pound Armstrongs here in order to get the five of these. But like I said, if I use these ships just as boarding ships, then, you know, up close, we can do good even with these low caliber guns. So, I mean, that's what I, you know, that this is what I'm testing, I guess. You know what I mean? So if I go with the 1350, the rest of the way out, now we got 32 pounders here, we got 18. So you know this ain't gonna work. So yeah, we gotta take the, definitely take the 18s off. Now maybe we could put the, maybe we could put the nines here. We got plenty of nine pound Armstrongs. All right, so that'll work. All right, so I'm just taking the time while I got the money to go ahead and put on this, the sail repair. I want to get all these ships with five upgrades.
Well, you know, here's what I'm thinking. Instead of buying the Armstrong, I probably should be buying the Woolworth. Because that's lighter. And it's still a six-pounder. Yeah, so why, why have I been buying the six-pound Armstrong when I could be buying this? Because I think this would be better than an than a Armstrong. So, yeah, I mean... So that's a mistake, but it's okay. I mean, I got, I still got plenty of money, and like I said, you know, it's, but that's what I'll be doing. I might as well look at the six pounder. Okay, sale repair kit, and and we can already uh, be max. All right, sale repair kit. And we're already maxed. Okay, so we're not going to buy the people yet because we're going to put good people in here later. But for right now, at least we know we can now max it out with these guns. Now, these guns suck, and I don't know if there's any good, any other good guns. Let's just see. Like these 18-pounders. Or even the 24 pounder. Yeah, so I could put the 24 pounder right here. So if I leave the guns the way they are, and they can have max crew. So without making any other tweaks to this, right, you can see that all the ships are, are going to be able to be, ma I, I think even this one, yeah, like all the ships are going to be able to be maxed out on crew and have all five uh, ship upgrades on the ship, all level t tier three. So I, I think, oh, we need an officer here. All right, so let's just look and make sure we have officers on all the ships. Well, okay, so all the ships have officers, so therefore, um, Alright, we're going to do these last uh, points uh, side missions and we will see how it goes. Okay, so... With the, okay, so with the next stage, you have to answer this letter. Okay, so we can get some field artillery. Or we can get some, probably some rifles. So I already got the artillery that I want and the mortar that I want. So therefore, we're just going to see if we can get some free rifles. 
And this gives us a thousand of these with the sword bayonet. You can see that this particular one gave us 14,010 reputation and we sunk the ship. Attilica 59 and Richard knocked this ship out. And the last resort gave us 10,000 with uh, 10 reputation. And uh, Vishala, Vieira, and Rusty um, sunk all three of those ships. Not bad. We get 50% reputation uh, changes. That's a good modifier. Plus 30% reward modifier. But plus 10% for ship costs, which I don't think I'm going to buy a ship. So <laughs> I already, I already have, I already have the end game fleet right here. Like I honestly think there's only two land battles left to fight with these guys. And then I'll get rid of these ships. And then I'll just have my 10 ships for the, fi uh, the final two battles or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like, So anyways, as you can see, what's coming up next is a friend indeed. Ah, so this looks like a... A land battle, so... So one, two, three, four, five ships or three. And tailor made. All right. So I think these are the last two land battles, and then we'll have these. So yeah. All right, so. Okay, so, um, all right, well, let's figure this out. I'm going to have to, um, all right, so I need five ships, right? So it looks like if I put in the two, so, so, so Attilica has 13 already. All right, so it looks like I'll go in. My my ship will go in, so that's one. All right, let's put Vishal in. Okay, so if, um, okay, so Fenwick is going to go into battle. We're up to 1350. So 
so we're not going to put in our garlic here. Like, I don't know why the game's not letting me go there. Come on. So Vishala is two. Attilic is three. So these two are four and five. So, okay. I think I put these guys at 200, I think. Okay, so I have the 8-inch mortar. I have the 8-pound brass cannon. And I have a supply wagon. And we just have minimal crews. So, hey, we got some, uh, look at these guys here, they're almost perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these guys on one of these that I have low at 255 because jumping up to max is going to cost a lot of money. So we might as well... All right. All right, I got my five ships ready, folks. So we're gonna call it a day. I think I, I, I think we already, we already did all this. So yep. All right. I think. I think I'm going to put myself on a limb here. I think I think these are the last two land battles. So I think after these two battles, we won't need the transport ships anymore or the merchant ships. But anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourself. God bless to you and your own religion. It's your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.